Welcome back, Duck fans. The year two offseason is underway, and GM Superman has been very busy. At the draft, he selected two forwards, Melvin Wallace and Sammy Coronin, who both have elite potential. He resigned the head coach, Moises Cooper, who took the Ducks to the conference finals, and now he has to decide on signing Johnny Goudreau. Would Johnny Hockey be the perfect fit for the Ducks? Tune in to find out. All right, Anaheim, we are back. And it's time to head into the year two free agency with your Anaheim Mighty Ducks. And we got some big decisions. Well, you know what? One big decision. Johnny Goudreau. Do we bring the superstar to Anaheim and add him into this lineup that was one game away from the Stanley Cup Finals? We've got our Twitch scouts. We're quacking away here. Uh, we spent a good 10 minutes talking about the potential of bringing in a superstar like Johnny Goudreau. So I'm going to take my time with this. I want to make sure that we make the right decision. All right, because this one, it's 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 too good to just overlook. It's too good to pass up. I feel like you're kind of breaking up the beauty of the team that just was one game away from the Stanley Cup Finals. That combined with the fact that we're very young, so we're getting better. Would a guy like Goudreau suffocate a guy like Verana, who just had a breakout year as our number one sniper? Lots of things to talk about, right? So the first thing, we just got to talk about the 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 numbers if we're going to sign a guy like Johnny Goudreau. With the new rules, all I'm allowed to do with the years is change it by one, all right? So there's no point in going down to six. Seven years works fine for me. 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That'll take him up to 34 years of age. I can trade him in the last year of his deal, so I'd be able to trade him at 33 years of age. It's just the price is a little bit high. 9.7 million. And I might, to make sure I get him, I might have to go up to about $10 million. 70 million mill sounds about right for Johnny Goudreau, right? So let's say we sign. Let's say we do it. We go through with it and we get Johnny Goudreau on the team. All right. Let me just bring up the proposed trade screen. I think this will be a lot easier to just see everyone on the squad, right? So the way the forward core would work is I would have Sam Steele as my first line center, Maxime Comtois, my first line left wing, and Brett Connolly, who's my first line right wing, would be replaced by Johnny Goudreau. Big time, right? Big time. That way, Comtois and Steele just grow with Johnny Goudreau, who commands the line. It would be an offensive line. The second line would then be Jacob Vrana, uh, uh, Max Jones, and either, either Trevor Zegers when he comes up, or Lundstrom. I can get Ricard Raquel in there. All right, so you essentially have a top six with two bona fide snipers, two young power forwards who are up and coming, and two playmakers who are up and coming. It's not a bad fit. The problem, though, is that we are a team that in three to four years, we're going to have to pay a lot of contracts, all right? Jamie Drysdale, he's on a three-year contract, minor league contract right now. Same thing with Par Axelson. Now, if I sign Johnny Goudreau to seven years, I can't trade him until that sixth year. So we're going to run into that cap problem right there. We also have Maxime Comtois on a three-year deal right now with that high top six. I mean, his potential went up this season. If it goes up again and his overall goes up, this guy could want close to Johnny Goudreau money. I don't know about Sam Steele as well. Uh, Lundstrom, if we decide to go with him, he's going to grow. We've locked in Jacob Rana along with John Gibson, so he's here for the next six years. Sam Steele is going to sign a three-year contract. He's going to want a lot of money. I feel like if we go this route with Johnny Goudreau in four years, we're going to have to part ways with a lot of these young players that just had a fantastic season for us. I feel like it's a little bit too much. Now, if I can make it work, it, it's too good to pass up. But I don't want to blow up everything just to ensure that Johnny Goudreau is on the team. All right? So here's... Here's what I like. Here's how I'm, I'm, I'm going to play it. And I want to see what the Twitch scouts think about this. All right? Johnny Goudreau. If we get him, we get him. If we don't, it's not the end of the world. If we don't, we take it as it's just not time to get this guy. We wait for next year's free agency, the year after that, and we just continue to grow our young players. So this is what I'd be willing to do. Seven years, so I can adjust the salary, and instead of going up to 10, we're going to go down to nine. If he signs with us, he signs with us. If he wants to play here, he can play here. But if he wants to go somewhere else, he goes somewhere else. We are paying Jacob Vrana, our main man, $8 million per season. I cannot justify giving a player who hasn't done anything for our team just yet $2 million more per season. That would destroy Jacob Vrana. That would destroy his confidence. I don't like that. I want the I want Jacob Vrana to be my main guy. So if it's meant to be, then this is the contract. If not, then some other team's going to get him. Now, what do the Twitch scouts say? Red light, green light. It seems like they are pretty split down the middle. Looks good. Do nine. The guy is way better than Vrana. Ah, uh, Vrana had a 
incredible season for us, and his chemistry just works. That's another thing about Goudreau. We don't know the chemistry, right? Like, what if he doesn't work on this team whatsoever? I can still get a new head coach in the upcoming years to match it, but it screws over the good vibes that we have going on right now. You know, I just... I just... I, Oh, I don't want to destroy this team for one free agent player. With the new rules, we have to keep it clean. All right, so what do you guys think? One-year deal? I can't go down to a one-year deal. We can only adjust it by one year, so I can go six or seven. Six, I'd have to keep it at 9.750. It's too much money. I'd be willing to pay him $1 million more because of his experience in the NHL. Red? All right, boys. It seems like we're split right now in the Twitch scouts, so as the general manager, I have to make a decision. If it's meant to be... It's meant to be. Seven years, $9 million per. Offer the contract. It's in. It's in. It's locked in. And I am the first team to offer him a contract. Maybe maybe there's nothing else in there, all right? So, I met you guys halfway. I agree with you. We don't know about Johnny Goudreau's uh, chemistry, but he's too good of a player to pass up. But I'm not, I'm not overpaying him for it. I'm not destroying our chances four years from now by signing all of our young players because I have Johnny Goudreau stuck on the team is 32 years of age and he's starting to drop off. I'm not having that happen. All right? So Johnny Goudreau, boom, $9 million. If he doesn't take it, he doesn't take it. Now, we're still waiting on Sam Steele. Uh, my coaching staff is pretty much already set, correct? I need a goaltender coach. All right, so we need a goalie coach. Let's go out there and try to find a beast goalie, goalie coach. All right? To hell with it. Uh, overall. I'm going to sort by overall. Is there any goalies? <laughs> Let's just see here. All. Let's get the first goalie that pops up and just try to get him as a goalie coach. Oh, my God. Ain't no good goalie coaches. Oh, am I missing anything? Jesus. Ain't no goalies anywhere. There it is. Goalie. All right. D minus C minus. D, 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 C, B minus, B minus. All right, goalies. Uh, we're going to go NHL, goalie coach. Uh, yep, three years. And I'll pay you, my man, because I, uh, I got budget remaining. I'll pay you. I'll pay you. What do you want? What do you want? Oh, shit. I, th I didn't think I could. Oh, there you go. Yeah, I can pay you. Dean Moss, I want a good goalie coach for uh, John Gibson. I can fire him next year if I need to. NHL goalie coach, offer the contract. Dean Moss, baby. All right, so that's that guy taken care of. The AHL already has all the uh, coaches that I need. Uh, what's it called? The scouts. I believe I already have 20 scouts, don't I? 17 scouts. I can get a couple more, but I'll wait to the regular season for that. Okay, so we have Sam Steele. We offered... I, let me just double check that. We. I'm pretty sure we offered Sam Steele a contract. RFA, Steele. Yes, I did. You can see it over there. All right, yeah. I've already offered Sam Steele a three-year contract. We're trying to keep everyone on a three-year deal. And if Johnny Goudreau signs, then Johnny Goudreau signs, all right? So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are in the Johnny Goudreau sweepstakes. Let's see which teams get their hands on him, all right? And there's also a bunch of other free agents that we have to take a, keep an eye on. I mean, where's Braden Point going? He's a, is he, he's a UFA. Goudreau, Klinberg, Sean Couturier, Forsberg, Radulov, Kubali, Kadri, Nurse. There's a lot of free agents this year. Back up, Tendi. Look for a Tendi. You guys are right, but we have to wait on Johnny Goudreau and Sam Steele. I need to know what the cap is. All right, so let's go. Let's go. Let's see what happens. It's going to be day four or five for these guys. All right, day three. Dean Moss. Boom! I got a C-minus goalie coach. Hell yeah. All right, Johnny Gibson. Meet your new man, Dean Moss. He's going to show you some things. All right, good. Dean Moss and John Gibson helping out. Uh, back up. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to wait on that. Sam Steele. There it is. Sam Steele. Boom. All right. So Sam Steele is on our team. I was extremely happy to accept your offer. I appreciate the fact that you offered me the exact blah, 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 blah. Had to qualify him first. But that's big. That's big. All right. So what that has done now for us on the next three years, one, two, three, we got all these guys signed. All right. Sam Steele is signed. Uh, 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 Comtois is signed. Max Jones is signed. All of our young players, Lundstrom is signed. Axelson and Drysdale have three years left on their minor league deal. We got a three-year window right here to try to win a Stanley Cup before we need to reshape things, okay? And we still have $12 million of cap space. So you see what I mean about, like, Johnny Goudreau? It's just, it, it's, it's, it's absolutely a great player, but you're really taking a shot with him. Like, you're saying that this is our guy. And you can't really have much flexibility after that. All right, so here it is, day five. Is this going to be the one? 
Oh, he didn't go to another team, though. I decided to reject your offer. The contract offer was simply not within my consideration range. If you are still interested, we should discuss a higher salary. Interesting. Interesting. Now, is any other teams going after him? Now, no teams are going after him. Wow. Wow. No teams are going after him. It's meant to be. No. You know what? I'm gonna play. I'm gonna take a, a page out of Steve Eiserman's book, Lulan Morello's book. He's not a duck, not yet. He doesn't get to negotiate with me. This is my line, Gudro. If you want to play in Anaheim as a member of the Mighty Ducks, you take nine million over seven years. Bang. There it is again. I'm currently considering my options. I'll get back to you. All right, so that's going to be $9 million. We're going to need a backup goaltender. Uh, but there's still, you know, there's plenty of goalies. I want to, yeah, I want to wait for this. I want to wait for this Johnny Goudreau situation. Hardball GM. Yep, hardball GM. That's what I'm doing, boys. All right, I'm absolutely pulling it off. Come on. It's advanced days. Uh, so I got Sam Sealstein. I, I would, uh, I pretty much have all the, no, I got everyone signed. Yeah, this is, this is a good team. This is a good team. It's just Johnny Goudreau. If he says no again, I might be I might be done. All right, so day 10. <laughs> Hardball. All right, all right. Oh, interesting. Goudreau. It went down to 9.625. Look at that. Look at that. It went down. Uh, looks like Tuka Rask got signed somewhere. A lot of players getting signed. Okay, okay. No, hardball. Hardball GM. Hardball. I can do this. I'm, 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 I'm slowing him down. I'm doing it again. Seven years at nine mil per. Boom. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I ain't stopping. All right. So I, I can get my backup goalie now because I know that's going to be nine mil. I have about $3 million of cap space. I was considering going after a real big goaltender. Uh, Marc-Andre Fleury wants a two-year deal. Let me see here. Uh, two years, 2.7. What do you guys think? Marc-Andre Fleury? Uh, Mike Smith? Hill, Copley. I mean, I could just grab one. You know what? There's plenty of guys. I don't need Mark andre Fleury. It's fine. You're addicted, dude. Get the flower. Now we can leave flower because the flower drops off. I might as well just get another goalie. It's going to be John Gibson. But we also have Dostal who can come up if John Gibson gets injured. And I give him some time just to get better. We got to, yeah, we're still just going to wait. I like my defensive core. I like every, I like everything. I like, because we got to play our young players. It's just depth that I need. And I can find that no problem. Johnny Goudreau is the player that we got to find. Here we go. It's going to be on the 15th, right? 15th? Let's see. <laughs> oh, it's hard negotiations right now with Johnny Goudreau. Now, before we take a look at anything, let's take a look around the NHL to see who's been signed, all right? So where do those big players go? Let's try to – I'm just going to try to spot some players. Jeff Carter goes to the Rangers. Not that that's big in year number two here. Uh, Dustin Brown. Jake DeBrus goes to Nashville. Eric Stahl. Mika Zibinijad goes to Winnipeg. Uh, Stuart Skinner. You know, Nita Ryder goes to Vegas. Uh, Luke Coonan to Boston. Brett Larson. Alexander Edler. Pekka Rene goes to Winnipeg. Kyle Turris to uh, Minnesota. Lankinen, goaltender, goes to L.A. Tuka Rask goes to L.A. What the fuck? They got... Two, uh, L.A. signed both Tuka Rask and Kevin Lankinen. They got two starting goaltenders. Okay. Uh, Riley Tuft. James Reimer goes to Tampa Bay. Then Ochara goes to the Rangers. Uh, Gusev, Soderberg, Olmark. I should have checked after like the first five days because all these big players probably went right away. Wedgwood, Frank Coos, Ryan Strom, Elvis. Colton Pareko goes to Calgary. So the Calgary Flames, they lose out on Johnny Goudreau. They get the first overall pick, Shane Wright, and they get a defenseman in Colton Pareko right there. All right. Nazem Kadri goes to San Jose. Darnell Nurse and Dominic Kubelik went to L.A. L.A. signed Lankin and Rask, Darnell Nurse, and Dominic Kubelik. L.A. is freaking spending money. Sean Couturier goes to the New York Islanders. They get even better defensively. Philip Forsberg goes to the New Jersey Devils on a seven-year deal. John Klinberg goes to the Buffalo Sabres, the team that lost in the Stanley Cup Finals. Jack Eichel and John Klinberg with freaking Rasmus Dahlin. What in the hell? Brayden Point goes back to Tampa for a one-year contract. He just doesn't want to leave Tampa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Crazy, boys. Crazy. Sam Steele, and there you go. All right. LA wants your ducks. I mean, this is getting it's it's making me want to get Goudreau that no one else 9.5. I gotta I gotta keep playing hardball. 
I got to keep playing hardball. I got to keep doing it. I'm on, I'm on to something here. I'm on to something here. Now, let me take a look at the rest of my team because I can't, I can't wait any longer. If there are any players that I need to get, I need to get them now. So let me just take a look. All right. Pay him. Uh, no, I'm playing hardball with this. I already like my team. We got Gibson. I, I, I have a backup in Stellar and Dostal, but I could use a better backup. Uh, my defensemen, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got eight defensemen that can play in the NHL. Uh, all right. And two of them are going to be 87, 88 plus. So I got to start playing them. And then forwards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. looks like he's going to be ready. 14, 15. Like I got players. They're young players, but they got to play. So I'm not in a rough spot right here. I'm not taking too long. I'm not missing out on anyone. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. So Johnny Goudreau, but I could use a backup goalie. So who do you guys like as the backup? Twitch Scouts? Who do you like? Copley, DeSmith. Probably just get somebody nice and cheap, like a two-way contract here, like Comrie or Kincaid, Riddich, Del Pickle, Ryan Miller, uh, Montebaum. What do you guys like? Flurry? The thing about it I don't like about Flurry is it's $2.7 million, right? I could use that money somewhere else, and if he drops off, I... I don't like I don't like flower for this one, boys. Corpus Allo, no. Copley. Honest honest to God, Copley at 81. 30 years of age. Like Copley's the guy. Suban? Suban or Copley are this. You know what though? Suban wants two years. Copley only wants one. Yeah. I take a look at Copley's stats. Four star, four star, four star. Suban stats. Four star, four star, four star. They're basically the same player. Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna go with Copley. Alright. Uh, because he only wants the one year deal. So one year. There you go. Very good. So that's my backup goalie taken care of. All right. Defenseman, Giordano, Ekholm. Ekholm's still out there, but I don't want Ekholm back. Uh, PK Subban. Oh, I could have reunited the Subban brothers. Uh, but no, I, I got enough defensemen. And then the forward core, Miles Wood, Hoffman. I could bring back Iafalo for some depth, although I want to play Troy Terry this year. Uh, Grimaldi, Kasha, Maligan. Yeah, I mean, we, we have our team. We have our team. I really like my team. They went there one game away from the cup final. It's just about playing hardball with Johnny Goudreau and getting a backup goaltender. All right, so let's go. Let's see if we can do it. Playing hardball with Johnny Goudreau. Come on, Goudreau. Uh, the Dallas Stars want my prospect defenseman, Oljevich, for a third and a fourth. Get the hell out of here. I'm not making any trades. Advanced day. Uh, Phoenix Copley is the side at the sign. That's the backup of the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Welcome to Anaheim, Phoenix. Phoenix Copley. What a name. Advanced day. <laughs> Johnny Goudreau, you piece of garbage. Would you just sign? You're not making more than 9 million. 9.4, boys. I got him down to 9.4. <laughs> if he goes down low enough, I can offer him a six-year deal instead of the seven-year deal. No, I'm doing it. I, no, I'm playing. This is GM Superman's finest moment. All right? Playing hardball with a superstar and getting him to sign on my terms, not his. All right, I'm playing hardball, boys. I'm playing hardball. I'm playing hardball. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've never done this. This is going to be a, a first for GM Superman. Playing hardball in free agency instead of overpaying. I'm going to do it. Oh, <laughs> you little bastard. You little bastard. Johnny Hockey is just saying to hell. <gasps> he only wants $8 million now. Woo! Oh, man. But he only wants a one-year contract. Okay. Okay. Well, now I can only move it by one. Holy shit. <laughs> It's taking too long, so I can't offer him the seven million dollars. One year at eight point. Okay, so if I can overpay him, I want to make sure I get him now. I don't want any other team to come in here and steal it. I'll give you the nine million. All right, and then I'll offer him a six-year extension, which would match the seven years that I would give him if he wants nine million dollars. All right, will that work? Will that work? That kind of makes, uh, uh, yeah, that kind of makes sense from Johnny Hockey's perspective. He didn't want to go long term. No team was giving him money, so he's now he's like Taylor Hall. I'll take the one year cheaper. Because no team was paying for him. Eight mil? Yeah, but what if another team, now that he's dropped his price, what if another team comes in and steals him from me? After all that negotiating, I'm still getting him for the $9 million. Yeah, I'm doing it. One year, $9 million. Bang. There it is. All right. Remember, I can overpay. Why overpay now? Because some other team might come around and see my offer and then offer him more. I I'm telling you. I know how this, I know how it works. Got to be careful with this. Now, I'm going to be consistent. I'm not going to try to screw him out of more money. I said, you can play here for $9 million per season. 
That was my that was my negotiation. And GM Superman playing hardball with Johnny Goudreau wins the victory of negotiations. That's a W for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks. Now here's what uh, is great about this. I didn't even think about giving him the one year deal. We're a team that was one game away from the Stanley Cup Finals. If the future doesn't include Johnny Goudreau, fine, so be it. He'll walk. We didn't have to give up anything for him. It's a free agent acquisition. And if it doesn't work, he's Gonzo Alonzo. But this helps out our team next season immediately, giving us the goal scoring, giving us the power play, and hopefully our team is still good defensively. That's a dub. That's a dub. I, I, I'm telling you, that's a dub. Goudreau didn't want to sign long term for anything less than what he was asking no team was offering it to him so he's like fine i'll take a one-year deal i'll try to improve my value and i'll ask for even more next season i like it i like it that was big boys that was big all right so now we got brett Connolly and ricard raquel but i could use those guys as debt players they only got like one year left it's not a bad deal and I pretty much have everything. Okay, so there is one defenseman that I would like to get if I can get him. I got four point four point something million. I'd like to get a defensive defenseman or a two-way defenseman that works on the penalty kill. Ah, they're all gone. Yeah, that's a problem. Gunnarsson or Charot? No, all defensive pairings. They're all gone. I, I kind of wanted like a yeah like a penalty killer Tennyson. Uh, nah, you know what? We're just gonna have to play our young players this year. It is what it is. Maybe I make a trade midseason for Cam Fowler to get another penalty killer, two-way defenseman, something like that. But uh, it's just because of our coach. His penalty killing, I think, is large box. I like the diamond penalty killing. Uh, but still, man, that's a, that's fantastic. We Last season, or at the trade deadline, we picked up Jacob Verana, and now we just got Johnny Goudreau. Whew. All right, so let's jump to preseason, ladies and gents. All right, so the year three preseason, ladies and gentlemen. We had a great offseason. We got Johnny Goudreau. Me and the Twitch scouts, we've already gone through all the lineups and made the changes. So let me show you guys what the year three Anaheim Ducks look like. And we got lucky with Johnny Goudreau, all right? So I'll take a look at his uh, chemistry. It wasn't exactly what we wanted. What we were hoping for was him to have the exact same chemistry as Brett Connolly, which would allow us to move him there. Verana would still be on the second line. But unfortunately, it only gave us a plus one with uh, with uh, Comtois and Goudreau, right? So what I thought for this year, we'll get Verana playing top tier ice time. Comtois is going to have to come down, which I don't really like. I wanted to get Maxime Comtois that uh that uh, that that ice time and maybe we could grow his potential again but this way we're going to be a lot more of an offensive threat Vrana gets to play first line ice time with a plus three and now johnny goudreau hiding there on that second line with lundstrom and comtois that's going to be filthy Ho hopefully filth uh third line zegris gets left and perry we're going to keep those guys together veteran two veterans with the future duck and then the fourth line our penalty killing line all right Defensively, Cam Fowler with Par Axelson, our fifth overall pick from year number one. He works out on that first line very well. So we got that plus three. We're going to see how he plays. Jamie's Drysdale, unfortunately, doesn't work on this team. Uh, can't play him on the third line, but the first and second line will be just fine. Uh, he's going to play alongside a Hampus Lindholm and then Brendan Gooley with Adam Larson. We got our power play lines that basically replicate our 5v5 lines. With this head coach, we can't get anything more than plus one. It's unfortunate, but uh, we're a defensive team. Penalty kill, I'd like to have better penalty killers, but it is what it is with this head coach. Like I said, it worked last year. I want to see if it could work again this year. Why is this? Hang on. I want to get the, yeah, I want to get the zero on the first line. There you go. That's better. Our extra attackers, Verana and Goudreau. We don't know what Johnny Goudreau is going to, if he's going to want to resign here or what. So we want to make sure that Jacob Verana is still our main guy, and he is. All right. In the AHL, I signed some players in preseason just to fill out the squad, but we are not using Gru on our NHL squad. He's not a penalty killer with the passive box, so I'd have to get a new head coach. Uh, Morand. Uh, uh, Melvin Wallace, who we just drafted, he's got second line center time. Mo Perry, who we drafted in the second round last year, he's got third line ice time. Tracy's still in there. All right, we got chemistry all all across the lines. Uh, and defensively, we got uh, Vero, who I just picked up. Emil Vero, he was a high top six, 79 overall, 20 years of age prospect that hadn't been signed just yet. He was just sitting there in free agency, so I signed him. And uh, we had this Anderson guy as well. And the goaltender situation, I signed Jack Campbell. And Dostal is the backup. So we are ready for year number three, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, 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 oh. And the one thing that we do have to look at, because I'm not going to do it just yet. 
I'd like to simulate a few just to see um, um, how the season's going. But look who we have scratched. Oliver Shillington, Brett Connolly, and Ricard Raquel. Now, that's a big one because Raquel, we just signed to a three-year extension. Only at 4250. So, even if he drops down, it won't be that hard to trade. We're going to have injuries as well, which he'll be able to slide right in. He can play the center position. But more than likely, um, we will end this video with due diligence, taking a look around the NHL and who we could trade uh, uh, Ricard Raquel for. All right, because that is definitely trade bait now. Conley, we can hold on to because he's got one year left. But Ricard Raquel, we want to we want to part ways with. All right. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Here we freaking go. Ricard Raquel for Lundstrom? No, no, no. Lundstrom's the future. I want to make sure we're playing Lundstrom. Here we go. Year number three. Was the year two Anaheim Mighty Ducks just a fluke? A flash in the pan? Just a, a, a team that was good because no one took him seriously and then John Gibson was just a great goaltender? Or are we going to be even better than we were last season? It was a struggle to get into the playoffs, if you remember. All right, I want to have a much better start to the year. So we'll go one week at a time. St. Louis, Philly, and Washington. Let's see how we start up. Year number three. That's a victory followed up by two regulation losses. All right, so a 3-2 win. 3-2 loss, 6-4 loss. Now, hang on a second. I just want to take a look at uh, our first and second line. I want to see uh, Verana and Goudreau. Verana, three games played, minus two. Uh-oh. And Goudreau, three games played, three assists. All right, so maybe the second line is better than the first line. Maybe I should get Goudreau up there instead of Verana. There are lots of changes that we can make. Let me go through another week, though. See what happens. Check defense. Oh, we'll be checking it every week. Don't worry. Like I said, this is the new simulation that I do. Pittsburgh, that's a 3-1 loss. That's a 4-3 loss to the New York Rangers. Let me go another week. I don't know if this is a fluke just yet or what. 7-2 loss to Florida. 4-3 loss to uh, to Philadelphia. And a 5-3 loss to Winnipeg. What the hell is going on? I told you guys, man. Johnny Goudreau's doing great. I think we gotta, I think we gotta change up some things, right? So hang on a sec. Uh, let me go to my actual stat screen. One six and one team. Fire the coach. <laughs> relax, boys. Relax. It's not over just yet. Goudreau. All right. Come to a, the second line is a minus. First line, Troy Terry, Lundstrom. Yeah, that first line is not doing much. Jones, Rana, and Steele. All right. So I have an idea. I have two ideas that I want to try. First off. Let us try to just switch Goudreau and Vrana, all right? So we'll get the better player on the first line so the game recognizes that as my first line. Zegris minus four. All right, so let's also move the the third line down to that fourth. All right, Hyman, Cop, and Terry. And I'm going to take uh, Hyman out of there, and I'm going to slot in Ricard Raquel. All right? Gotta get, uh, that doesn't really work. What about, what about like Connolly? You know what? Hang on a sec. Ah, okay. So let me try that. Let me try Ricard Raquel with Cop and Terry on the fourth line. All right. Defense. Uh, Fowler's doing fine. Axelson's doing fine. Jamie Drysdale, minus four. That ain't good. Uh, and Brendan Gooley and Larson. All right. That yeah, could be doing better as well. Now, what about Johnny Gibson? Oh, Johnny Gibson. What the hell? Five games played, not a single W. Come on, John Gibson. You got to be doing better than that, my man. See what I mean? We signed Johnny Goudreau and our team starts playing. He's doing great, but our team is, is playing worse defensively. Oh, no. All right. We got to just, we got to play through it, man. We got to play through it. So let's get uh, through the next week. We got three games, New Jersey, Colorado, and Pittsburgh. A 5 nothing loss. Uh, uh, what's his name? Jamie Drysdale has been uh, out with a pulled groin. So, yes, I'm going to make that change right now. Let me try to get, uh, let me try to get left defenseman. Let me try to get Shillington in there. All right, Shilly, can I move you guys around at all? Shilly, I get a plus three. There you go. Let me try to get plus three with Larson and Lindholm. Plus three. Can I get Axelson to move around at all? I can get those two guys. Maybe I get Axelson off the first line to help out a little bit. Axelson's a minus four in ten games played. Shillington, Gooley. Let me get let me get Shillington up there. Let me just try to make some. Let me just try to make some movements here. All right. Let me try to make some movements. Four man power play. Shillington, Lindholm, Zegers, Fowler. Yeah. Uh, and the, the penalty kill. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I took out... Yeah, oh, that was a mistake. Ricard Raquel. Yeah, that was a mistake. Troy Terry. Actually, no, Ricard Raquel's not bad for the penalty kill. Moving to the second. All right. We just got to start to try... We got to freaking win some games here, man. Shillington goes down with a sore knee. Is that two freaking defensemen that went down now? Drysdale and... Uh, oh, man. I got to get somebody in there to play... Uh, what's it called? Defenseman. Do I? Connolly and Hyman. I'll bring up Hyman. 
forward point defense. No, that's like a bad idea. I need every win that I can get right now. All right, time to bring somebody up from the uh, the AHL, boys. Got to bring somebody up. This is important. I can't screw this up. Defenseman. Waivers. No. Vero, you got the chance, buddy. You're coming on up. Uh, edit lines. Man, lot, lots of micromanaging early here in the season for the Anaheim Mighty Ducks, boys. Uh, defenseman. So let me just get the replacement for Vero. Get Garvin in there. There you go. Switch, yeah, switch with Nielsen. Uh, extra attackers. Come on. Shoot. <laughs> really? The defenseman was taking out his shot in the shootout? My God. Uh, Moran, I guarantee Moran's already taken a shot. Yep. <laughs> Typical. Uh, Matthews, let me get uh, my center Wallace in there, shall we? There you go, Wallace. Good. All right, so Wallace is in there. Nice. Uh, NHL, my defenseman, not Hyman. We want to take him out and put that guy Vero in. Now, let's see how good Vero is on this first line. Uh, it's not bad. Is there anyone else that can get a plus three in there? Fowler? No, all we're going to get is a plus one. Ooh, there we go. Axelson and Gooley, but then I got a minus. No, we'll just leave that the way it is. Wait, I can get Axelson? Yeah, 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 I can get Axelson. Then I only get the plus one on the third. All right, so Vero's in there for uh, our defenseman offense. Let me just think about this. Maybe it's like Max Jones on that second line. Leave it leave it for a little bit. I want to see what happens. All right, so a 5-4 uh, shootout loss to the Colorado Avalanche. A 7-4 victory over the Pittsburgh Penguins. Man, we have turned into a goal-scoring team with the acquisition of Johnny Goudreau. Uh, Islanders, Washington, and uh, the Montreal Canadiens. Let's see what happens. That's a 4-3 victory, 4-2 victory. Uh, Shillington is back, for God's sakes. I hate when I have, like, uh, like not enough defenders because just the way the injuries are happening. Vero going to be sent down. No worries about that. He's not going to have to clear waivers. All right. Defenseman. Let me get him back in there. Jimmy Drysdale. All right. So Drysdale can go back. I can actually... Should I give Drysdale first line ice time? I'm going to give Drysdale first line ice time. You know what? No, no, no. There you go. Put him down here. Brendan Gooley, he can play on that third defensive pairing. And he actually doesn't have a... He doesn't suffer. Gooley takes that up high enough where we don't get a minus. Sweet. Hell yeah, I'll do that. All right, so plus three, plus three. All right. Very good. Let's get to it. San Diego player Andrew Nelson is fully healed. All right. 5-3 victory. All right. So a weird start to the year, 1-6-1, but now we're on a uh, a four-game winning streak. We've got points in our last five. 4-3 victory, 3-2 victory, 5-3 victory against the team that kicked us out in the playoffs. Uh, uh, the Montreal Canadiens, four games this week. Calgary, Toronto, Vegas, and Winnipeg. Let's see what we got. Calgary, it's a 3-1 victory. Don't worry about Shillington. Uh, a 3-2 loss to Toronto in the shootout. Josh Jacobs, uh, waivers, let's see. Right, defenseman. Nah, I don't need you. Uh, decline. Uh, Vegas, 8-2 victory. All right, and we've climbed back above 500. So what do you guys think? Like, what? Is it just too early in the season? We're mixing matching lines. We don't know exactly what's going on because it's, it's, it's right back. It's a little bit too early. Vero in the NHL? Vero in the AHL? Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't dress him. Good call, boys. Good call. The Twitch scouts helped me out. So I'll go back to the AHL, make sure that Vero is in there. Nilsson... Nelson was a defense. Who did I take him out for? Garvin, right? Garvin, yeah. No, Vero. There you go. Vero, and then switch him with Drew. There you go. Vero's right back in there. Good call, boys. Vero was a good pickup. Two-way uh, contract that I can move up and down. All right, so I'm not going to change anything. We're 7-1-2 and two in our last 10 games. Uh, let's go another week. Columbus, Toronto, and uh, the LA Kings. Gustav Forsling. I'm just going to replace him. That's our AHL team. It's a shootout loss, shootout loss, and a W. Man, we haven't lost in regulation in... One, two, three, four. We haven't lost in regulation in four weeks almost. This is really good. Keep it going. Four games this week. Uh, two back-to-backs. Andrew Nilsson, uh, head coach replaced player. John Gibson's been strained with a strained hammy. Estimated return is December 19th. All right. Who do we give him the chance to? Who are we give him the chance to? Copley could be the backup. We're going to bring up Dostal. We're going to bring up Dostal. Dosty, get up here. Does he have uh, waivers? No. Good. All right. Dosty, get up here, buddy. Going to get him in there. All right, so John Gibson wins down. I was That's why I was honestly, if we didn't get Goudreau and he like he went to another team, I might have signed Tuka Rask, to be honest, because this team, it's all built for defense, right? All right, so Lucas Dostal, you're going to be in there, bud. Uh, what is this? The AHL squad needs their backup goaltender. There you go. Oh, excuse me. 
Uh, Maxine Comtois has been injured with back spasms. His estimated return is December 5th. I'm just going to replace him for right now. Uh, Gustav Forsling is back. Oh my god. <laughs> Every day something else is popping up. 5-2 loss against Florida. 5-0 loss against the Columbus Blue Jackets. So let's take it up to when our uh, players get back from injury. Uh, actually, no, let's take it up to January 1st so we can see the whole uh, uh, Johnny Goudreau situation, all right? So the next week we have Chicago, Tampa, and New Jersey. Three games. Let's see what happens. 6-2 loss. My god. 4-3 victory, 4-3 victory. I know I'm suffering right now because I probably have, like, Brett Connolly uh, playing on that line with uh, Vrana and Lundstrom. So I don't know how well that's going to be. But there you go. I got Maxim Comtois back, which is big. Hyman was playing with Lundstrom and Vrana. Yeah. It's not horrible. He's still got the plus one, and I know he's good defensively, but that's the one that I need right there. All right. So chemistry's back up. Also, Ricard Raquel playing on that fourth line has probably helped out a little bit. Uh, Gibson, Connolly's still there. Yeah, interesting season. Interesting season. But, I mean, we weren't going to be a President's Trophy just yet, right? That's San Diego. Don't have to worry about that. Corey Perry, that was a lingering injury, so he's still in the lineup. Uh, we're a back on a winning streak. Beautiful. Let's keep going. Three this week. It's in the Canadian road trip, baby. Calgary, Vancouver, and uh, Montreal. And there he is. All right, John Gibson is back. So let's see what Dostal did in his short stint. Uh, an 882 save percentage. Not great, Dostal, but don't worry, my man. All right, don't worry. I appreciate the effort. And I'll go back to Ed Alliance, get the AHL squad up here. Oh, come on. Just let me, just, just let me. Oh, it's so annoying. I can't change. It's so annoying. Gibson. But Copley, I want you to start because he's still got that lingering injury, all right? And then goalies over here. Campbell, take out Stallers for Dostal. There it is. Beautiful. All right. So, John. Oh, I st he was oh lingering injury my ass man I had him scratched I mean I didn't have him scratched I had him playing backup oh my god all right so when my goalie comes back just don't even play him until that lingering injury is gone auto rotation I guess so fucking hell John Gibson goes out with another injury yeah all right so when Gibson comes back from injuries don't be an idiot you gotta you gotta scratch keep him scratched send down like a defenseman or somebody else keep him scratched. That is so annoying, dude. That is so annoying. Gibson, man, we need you. What kind of season is this guy having? He's getting injured. He's not having a great... Uh, uh, he's going to drop to like 88, 89 overall for next year. Let's see. Gibson, 903 save percentage, goals against above three. What the fuck? He's only got six wins. He's only got six wins on the year? It's my backup that's going to town? What the hell is going on, Gibson? I got to fix that. When he comes back from injury, I can't allow that shit to happen. Uh, Campbell and uh, Stolarz. There you go. Uh, goalie coach is Garbo. I'm pretty sure he's better than last year's goalie coach. Uh, that's a loss against... Uh, that's an all-Canadian loss right there. Uh, another one against Canada. We're on a three-game winning streak. Jacob Vrana had the lingering injury. He's fine. Nelson, only two more weeks to go. One more week to go, ladies and gents. Four more games. Colorado, that's a 3-1 victory. 6-3 victory. Hampus Lindholm's been injured with a sore knee. I'll just replace him for right now. We only have one more game to go. And there we are, all right, so around the halfway mark of the season, ladies and gentlemen, January 1st, the Anaheim Mighty Ducks have a record of 20 wins, 14 losses, and 7 overtime shootout losses. Not great, not horrible, but uh, we're in a playoff hunt, we're well within the playoff hunt, so that's good. We just gotta keep on winning, and Johnny Goudreau is doing his job. So let's take a look at uh, some of these stats. All you need is a top D-man, you know what, thinking about what we don't have, last year we had Ekholm and we had Manson. We've replaced them with Anderson or Axelson, sorry, and Drysdale. Now we have to play these two young players because it's going to pay off in the long run. But you can see how, yes, we are a worse defensive team immediately. And that's, you know what? I'm fine with that because we're still winning games and our goals four per game because of Johnny Goudreau, second best in our division. So we're scoring goals now. Goals against per game, fourth worst in the division. Fifth best, so yeah, we gotta we gotta work on that power play percentage. Uh, Anaheim, twenty two point five percent. So the thing that hurt us last year in the playoffs, we've improved. Our power play is so much better now, twenty two point five. Do you guys remember it last year? And our penalty kill is eighty five point seven. So it's there. I think you guys are right. Five on five, our blue line is weak. It's our five on five blue line. But you know what? We're going, we're going long with this, all right? So come to all, wow, come to all is having a season with Johnny Goudreau. Hell yeah. All right, so those two guys are great. Uh, Sam Steele, Max Jones, Verana. The first line is struggling a little bit. 
So be it. Lundstrom. Zegris a minus 18. Oh, shit. Playing with Getzlaff. Getzlaff and Perry. You old bums. Oh, my God. Corey Perry's a seven. There's your freaking problem. He's an old man. All right. So what we do, what we got to do is we got to part ways with Ricard Raquel and Connolly. I think Getzlaff and Perry become our debt players now. What do you guys think about that? And just get a bunch of two-way forwards for the third line alongside of uh, Zegris. <laughs> Perry and Getzlav need to be our debt players now. They're trash. Yeah, they're 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 past their prime. Getzlav, he's still 82, but they're past their prime. Ricard Raquel, we're gonna be moving on from you. Yeah, I already know what I want to do now. I already know what I want to do now. Fowler, Lindholm, Drysdale, 13 points in 37 games played. Axelson. All right, we're just five on five. We're allowing too many goals, but we're getting goals on the power play, which is still helping us win. Copley, he's 13. I mean, I got the right backup. I got the right backup. Thank God for Copley. Fucking John Gibson, what are you doing this year? I gotta, I gotta get John Gibson playing, man. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I've got to get that going. I can't have that happen. All right. Now, interesting part. Johnny Goudreau, he's had half a season here. What does he want? What does he want? He wants to sign an extension. Ooh. <laughs> Six years. At nine million per. <laughs> I got. I have to complete it. I have to complete it, guys. Give me the green light. I have to complete it. This video would be about the negotiation of Johnny Goudreau. This would be the hard ball. This would be the hard ball. Oh wait, no, I can't do that. Right, I can't do that because I have to accept the year length, or I can change the price. Give him an eight-year deal. Yeah. So would you guys be all right with the extra year? So he would take him up till 35 years of age with Johnny Goudreau. Or do you go, no, I'm not paying him 9.6. I'd go eight at nine, at $9 million. But now he's getting the extra year, so he should get extra and less money. He should get less money, right? Because he's getting that extra year now. Yes, yes, yes. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Because in free agency, all he could do was sign seven-year deals unless he re-signed with Calgary. But now because he signed a one-year deal with us, and now I can give him the eight-year extension... Oh, the seven-year extension. Yeah, no, eight-year, that would be nine years. Seven-year extension, that would be like him signing an eight-year deal in the free agency, which means he'd be getting less. Okay, so how much for seven years? Uh, nine mil, but like eight to, what if I get him at eight? If I get him at eight, there's no way I'm getting him at eight. I don't want to piss him off. No, there's no way I'm getting him at eight. Uh, seven years at eight to five? Can I get him at that? Nine, I don't even know. Says he wants nine. Yeah, but I'm giving him the years that he wants. When I give him the years that I want, I can manipulate the price. That's the rule. All right, so eight and a half. Eight and a half. Eight and a half over seven. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. He's had a great season. He's been fantastic. Seven-year extension will take him up till, I mean, shit. He's 29, which means, that, so next year he'll be 30. That'll take him up till 37. Ooh, I don't know. What do you guys think? I thought the 15% rule was not in. Only, it's not in if I, so if I offered him like a one year deal, I can't do that. Oh man, you know what? You know what? I'm going to, I'm going to wait on this. I want to see what YouTube has to say. Because if I offer him a seven year extension, that starts next year. He'll be like 37, still making $9 million per year. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't know. I want to see what these the, the the Twitch scouts have to say, but also the YouTube scouts. All right, so we're halfway through the season. Uh, the goal is just to get back to the playoffs, but also I want to have a better end or defensive end to the season because I don't want Gibson to drop. So uh, I think Corey Perry and Getzlaff, they got to get out of there, and we got to get defensive players. And I can use Ricard Raquel and Connolly and our first overall pick to bring in some legitimate third-line two-way forwards who help out on our penalty kill. All right? So, boys, let me know what you think and i will see you in the next one hey guys johnny here and thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video give us a like hit that subscribe button and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content we also live stream on twitch where i take days off my life for your entertainment sunny gray get out of it you stupid pieces of shit. i should have gone with jose for nandez oh my God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to <laughs> all over me. Grand slam. Oh, yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 
Newton 500. No divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First f***ing inning.